Folder number 47. Folder number 47. Patient number 47. Is that you? Yes. You must come when I call your number. Sorry. You're here for a pregnancy? Yes. Here? So young, no how? Come in here then. Colors? In Libas is under Mazan. Colors? Shoo! How can she be shouting like that? Her name isn't 47. It's Pelokazi. She forgotten one important thing. Patients are people. They get shy, they get embarrassed, they get scared. This girl might be too scared to even listen to the sister. Maybe she'll be too scared to even come back again. You need to introduce yourself, speak kindly to the patient, and keep their confidence. Imagine the situation as if you were in their shoes and always be professional. Our sisters could have done a much better job in the same amount of time. Folder number 47. Folder number 47. Is that you? Yes. Come. Hello, I'm Sister Mbata. What is your name? Pelokas. Pelokas, I'll be looking after you today. Okay. The first thing we need to do, we're going to do some tests. There's nothing serious. You don't have to worry about anything. It's just to make sure that you and the baby are healthy. So come, follow me. The land analysis. Age? 20. Do you smoke? No. Drink? Sometimes. How long since you've seen your last period? I'm not really sure. November? Was it planned? The pregnancy? No. Are there any illnesses that run in your family? No. Okay, wait here. I need to go fetch something. That sister has forgotten why she's here. She just wants to get Pelo as out as soon as she can. She showed no interest. Mm. Communicating with patient is not just what our mouth said, but also what our body say. Ask open questions and show that you actually care. You are not here only to fill out the form. Your main job is to be with and treat the patient. I'm sure there is a better way. Thank you for waiting, Pelokazi. The first thing we have to do now is to take a history so that we can find more information on how to help you on your circumstances and find out how we can help with your pregnancy. Is that all right with you? Yes. Okay. Now tell me, how old are you? I'm 20. Tell me something. How do you feel about being pregnant for the first time? I feel quite nervous, actually. A bit scared. You know what? Every woman who's pregnant for the first time, they are afraid. This is normal. What is worrying you? I don't know how I'm going to afford this baby. I think about it so much, I can't even sleep. Well, that sounds like too much to worry about, money and all of that. But do you know there are child support grants to help mothers? OK, wait. Here. This will give you all the information for when you need to go to the SASA offices. Do you think it will help to tell someone else? Mm. Yes, maybe my cousin. I think she was able to get maintenance from her boyfriend to pay for her baby. Okay, so I think that will help a lot. So do you see it helps to tell someone else your problems? Mm. Okay, you know what? Now there are a few questions and then we're gonna do a physical examination. I'm quickly going to go and fetch something and then I'll be back quickly. Okay. Thank you, sister. Okay. How long will this take? Do you have somewhere better to be? I've 
been here for two hours already. Yeah, but if you look around, you will see how hard all of us are working. Can I not just come back another time? These tests are very important for your baby. But if you've got something more important than your baby, you are free to leave. But you are a mother now. You need to start to take some responsibility. Now, if you keep on distracting me, it's going to take a very long time for me to get ready. Soon, <laughs> Kezela, We're all busy. We all have places to be. This girl was clearly worried about something. To really understand a patient, you must know if there is something going on in their lives that is causing them to be stressed. Try to find out what the really meaning is behind their words. Try doing it like this. How long will this take? I'm almost ready. Can I not just come back another time? But Pilukas, these tests are very important for both you and your baby. Look, it seems as though there's something else that's troubling you in your mind. Can you tell me about this? I'm supposed to be looking after my sister's kids. The lady in the waiting room, she said I wouldn't be here longer than an hour. But it's two hours now and there's no one at home. Pelokas, it seems as if you've got so much responsibilities. But I'll be 15 minutes, I promise you. If we don't do this now, you're going to have to come back and sit in the line all over again. I promise I will get you out of here as soon as I can. Thank you. It's not going to hurt you. I really don't like them. If you think this is bad, how are you going to cope with giving birth? I'm scared. I'm sorry. Mamela san, the quicker the better. There are people waiting. If this is how you take blood, you likely poke a patient's eye come out. If patients tell you their feelings, they are afraid, anxious, concerned, or if you can see their feelings from their body language, you must show that you are listening and you care. You must be like a mirror and reflect their feelings. Let's see that another way. What are you going to inject? I'm not going to inject anything. It's just for taking blood out. You scared? Am I right? What are you anxious about? The needle or the blood? The needle. Have you had bad experience having your blood taken out? Yes. They kept stabbing me to try to find a vein. I see a lot of strong veins here that we can draw from. It will be just one prick and then we're done. Is that okay? Hello, guys. Yes? The clinic tells me you've missed your checkup visit. Why didn't you go? Can you please come another time? Sissy, this is the time you said you're available. Sis, this place looks like a mess. This is no living condition for a child. I mean, if you're going to leave dishes lying around, your baby will get sick. So why didn't you go to the clinic, huh? No, no, you must start taking responsibility. And next time when I come here, I want to see a tidy house. And I'm going to check with the clinic if you've gone for a checkup. Oh, poor girl. Look how ashamed she feels. Useless. Next time the health worker comes, she won't even open the door. Maybe she won't even go to the clinic. Listen to what your patient is saying. When she said she didn't have time, is that what she meant? Or was she saying something else? Use your words carefully to rephrase the response so you can better understand the problem. It might not be what it seems. Hello. Hi. My name is Humbi. Um, the clinic sent me. They've told me that you've missed your follow-up visit. Um, I'm just here to check if everything is all right. Can you please come back another time? You would like me to come back a different time. Is there something wrong? 
there's nothing wrong. I've just been so busy and, and rushing around and there's so much stuff to get done. You sound like you are very stressed, is that right? Yes. My two nephews need so much stuff for school. The electricity keeps getting cut off. I'm exhausted. I didn't know that pregnancy would feel like this. How am I going to manage when the baby comes? It sounds like you have a lot of worries with managing the household and being tired. Well, it's important for us to do these follow-up visits to make sure that you and the baby are healthy. Maybe we can also talk about your stress and maybe we both can think about ways to bring it down. I'll go to the clinic this week. If you will come back next week, I'd like to try and find a solution. Good. I'll see you then. Next thing. Oh. So when are you getting your HIV test results? I don't want to get them. <laughs> but you must. They can't just sit there. I prefer not knowing. Don't be silly. What? Are you scared of something? No, you mustn't be scared. You'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. What if it's positive? Then you make a plan. A lot of people are living with HIV. And you must just find out and make the most out of it. Where is the care? Where is the empathy? Where is the consent? It is not anywhere. This girl is terrified. Telling her that fears are stupid, it is not going to make her feel better. You need to affirm your patient. Tell them it is okay to feel scared, but encourage them to overcome it. This is what she should have done. Next thing. Oh. So when are you getting your HIV test results? I don't want to get them. Can you tell me more about that? I'd prefer not knowing. Are well, you scared they might be positive? It's normal to be scared of finding out. But if you know, then you can get treated. There's great medical care available. And they can help you live a regular life. But if you don't know, then we won't know how to keep you healthy and your baby healthy. And you're such a strong woman. Look how you're managing this household and your sister's children so well. Okay, I'll go to the clinic. Now that sounds like a good plan. And after that, we can get your results and we can find ways of keeping you strong if you're positive or negative. That will be helpful. Thanks. These pills must be taken once a day, but you must take them at the same time. Yandiv? Every day. Are you eating healthy? I'm trying. Yabon yeah, again. You must do more than trying. You must do. The sister seems more like a policeman than a health worker. How can Pilogas remember everything? How can she listen to the advice when she's made to feel so small? <laughs> Pelogas may not understand and need to ask questions. There's no chance for that now. Can you tell me what do you understand about these pills? I must take them at the same time every day. Okay, that's good. Some other people find it difficult to remember. So what would you do to help you remember? I can set an alarm on my phone. Okay, that's a good one. You know what? I'm going to suggest it to other patients as well. Now tell me, what other concerns do you have about this medication? I've heard that the pills can give you a headache, and I don't know what to do about that. Okay, that's good that you come up with that question. You know what? Many people have got the same problem, but usually it goes out in a week or two. But if it doesn't stop, you must come back to the clinic. 
Thank you. I'll do that. Come, come, come. You need to get dressed. And stop being so lazy. I'm trying. I feel like everything is too much for me. If I can't even deal with this, I don't know how I'll cope when the baby comes. Well, you should have thought about that before getting pregnant. What, you think a baby is a doll? Something you can play with? It is a life. Now come, let me see a brave face. I feel so alone. No, you're not alone. Millions of women give birth all around you. So, you'll be fine. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself. Yo, yeah, this woman has no empathy. She thinks she's here to instruct. But it is more than that. She's here to share knowledge. Listen to your patient and address their issues. Correct their misconception and empower them. Their worries are normal. Let them know they are not alone in this journey. Let's give Humbi another chance. So tell me how you're feeling. I'm feeling useless and alone. I have pains all over my body. I can't sleep at night because I keep worrying about everything. I keep on thinking about all the things that could go wrong and it keeps me up at night. I feel lazy and like a failure, like I will be a terrible mother. Hello guys, what you're feeling is very difficult to deal with, but it's very common with pregnant mothers. A lot of women have these thoughts. Illnesses that affect our bodies are very easy to see, but illnesses that affect our mind state, depression or anxiety, they can make it difficult for you to do ordinary things or being around people, but they don't necessarily mean you're lazy or you're gonna be a bad mother. Now, what would help you is to find a counselor who can explain your feelings. Yes, it would be good to speak to someone who can understand me. Now, the other people who have experienced what you are feeling, can I put you in touch with someone who can maybe help you with ways of coping? Definitely. I need to find out ways of dealing with this. I'm glad to hear that. These are the empathic engagement skills. Setting the scene, communication, verbal and non-verbal, explore life events, reflect feelings, rephrase and summarize, affirm, support, normalize, get feedback, Share knowledge. Now that you have seen the different empathic engagement skills, let's watch whom we use all the skills together. Hello, guys. Yes. Hi, I am Uhumbi. Um, I've been sent by the clinic for a checkup. It's just to make sure that everything is all right. Is there somewhere private where we can talk? Yes, there's no one here at the moment. So, tell me how you're feeling about your pregnancy. <sighs> to be honest, I'm feeling quite anxious. Can you tell me more about that? I don't think I'm ready to have this baby. I keep thinking of all the things that could go wrong and it keeps me up at night. I'm scared my baby won't have enough to eat and that I won't be able to do anything about it. Has anything specific happened that caused you to worry about money? I was working three times a week mm -hmm. at the shop in town. But they said they had to let me go and I haven't been able to find any work. Mm -hmm. I went for a job interview, but when they see that I'm pregnant, they don't want to hire me. Sounds like you're feeling very stressed. Is that right? 
Yes, I don't want my baby to go hungry, but there's nothing I can do. It seems like you really care about your baby, but also you worried that you might not have enough to provide for it, and that's preventing you from sleeping. Yes. But I think you should be very proud of yourself for staying so strong until now. Now, I think you should go back to the clinic so that you and your baby can stay healthy. There's actually a mother I know that felt just like you. And I think maybe talking to her might help you, but that's if you feel like you can do it. I don't know when though. Feels so lazy always. Remember, being exhausted from not getting enough sleep is not the same as being lazy. Now, I think you should go back to the clinic and maybe tell the sister that you're having problems with sleeping. Maybe she can help you. I'd really like that. I'll go tomorrow morning to see her. I'm glad to hear it. Now, I'll come back again next week and I'll check how you're doing.